I'm not happy about this. But I mean, like, he was a legend. You gotta love him because of how many years he gave us. But he's retired, and the fact that he's in Minnesota just rubs me completely the wrong way. I've been kind of done with Carver ever since he went to the Jets. So I just hope we beat him when we play the Vikings because we'll put up twenty, at least twice. Lance Diva, he doesn't have any loyalty to the people who were like, I mean, there are kids who were born like three or four years ago who have Favre jersey. They don't know anything other than Brett Favre before like 91 or 92, so it's a really big slap in our face. I personally, if he wants to, if he, I'm sure he's going to get in the Hall of Fame. He shouldn't enter the Hall of Fame wear a Packers jersey because he's not a true, not a true Packers player. He turned his back on our, our state, our community, everything we did for him, the smallest market in the country. You know, people looked up to him. Can't do that anymore. I support him for doing what he's doing. If he's still got the tank, let him do it. Okay. It's good for the NFL. I think it's, it's great for the NFC NFC North. It's good drama for the season. It'll be a crazy game up in Green Bay. It'll be fun. I don't see how you can like Brett Favre. I mean, like what he's done for the city of Green Bay. And I mean, yeah, he's just, he makes his decisions late, but I think you got to respect him for the game he plays. He put in a good time here, and when it was time to retire. It's betrayed because he signed a contract when he came onto the Packers that he would retire a Packer, and he has moved on to be, not only become a different, different team, but the Vikings of all teams. I don't know. It's just unexcusable. Oh, with Jay Cutler on the Bears, and uh, I think Aaron Rodgers on the Green Bay Packers. I just I don't see him competing with those two. Surprise me. Uh, retire.